you so much, Jesus, for your everlasting love. Thank you so much, Lord, for your unconditional love. Thank you so much that you are always with us. And we can always depend on you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we pray also for our brothers and sisters who are still on the way to this place. We thank you for your perfect protection from them, Lord. So they will arrive here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be blessed. Let your name be lifted up, Jesus Christ. Because you are the one who is worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Church, I invite you all to stand. Let us have our call towards the responsibility. God is with us. Let us humble ourselves before Him and confess. Our heart comes from the Lord, who has made the heavens and the earth, to remain the faithful forever. Grace and peace from the triune God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit to all of you. Grace and peace to you too. Amen. I will introduce this week or our Bible verse of this week is taken from Romans 12, 21. And this is from NIV, in the traditional person. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us sing our opening song of oh, praise the name.
God who are you, who is worthy to be praised. You are the one who is worthy to be praised, Lord. You are so beautiful, Jesus. You are so amazing. We want to bless you to live our life, Jesus. We want to let you to take control of our lives.
Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for everything you find for us. For this morning, this beautiful Sunday, you take us here. We are so grateful, Lord, for all the blessings you give to us. This morning, we want to learn your word. You may, Lord, stay with us here. Give us guidance and make us understand. Pray to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Now we will have our scripture reading as we prepare to receive our sermon this morning. Scripture reading will be from Matthew 10, verses 34 through 39. This is a reading of God's Word. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Anyone who loves his father or mother more than loves more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves his son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And anyone who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. This is the reading of God's word. Brother and sister, it is Christ. I have a question for us. Who do you love the most in this world? This is a classic question. When husband look at the wife, I love you, I love you. When daughter see the mom, I love you, mom. Also, father and to the son, to the daughter. But the real question is, who do you love the most in this world? As you know, everybody of us has our favorite. When I was little, when I was five years old, one morning, I told my mom, Mom, I want to marry the daddy. My mom said, what do you mean? I said, yes, I'm serious. I want to marry daddy because I love him. And surprise me, my mom answered me, then he going to have it to wives. I said, no, only me. What do you mean to wives? My mom said, this is so disappointing, but he is my husband. Well, we have our hero. We have our favorite. And when five years old girl telling this must be very still. This is big deal. He was my first hero, and I thought nobody's better than him. That's why I told my mom I want to marry him. I admire him so bad because he was doing everything so good. He go fishing, he catch a big red snapper, big tuna. Wow, who can do that? My dad. when we were little. What happened 45 years later? My dad looks older, sick, unhappy, hurt him bad, and I was witnessing him a 
on the situation. I was asking myself, is he still love him? Still want to marry him?
Get to our home. Jesus chose the fishermen, the tax collectors, fishermen, and the members, sent them out to separate the gospel. But God gave them gift. God gave them skill to go him people. So if you are, if you are here, you may. God wants you to be here. God wants you to be here and pick you as the one of the three key members. And what you gonna do with that? Don't worry. God gives you skill to do something to separate the gospel. You work for the kingdom of God. When we were making to Jakarta a few days ago, last week, when you out after clear for the immigration, you see it under the gate two signs. To the right, Wisma. To the left, hotels. What are you gonna do? Quarantine. You can quarantine. Wisma is a facility for government. The one qualifying for staying for free because there's a government facilities, mostly workers working for the government. And another one is hotel. The hotel is you have to pay. You have to pay for that, not free and expensive too. And you no guarantee there. Well, day one, I tested negative. I'm happy, yay, negative COVID-19. But the last day, I was tested positive. I was thinking, what happened? I didn't go anywhere, I just stayed in the room with my husband. My husband tested negative.
Matthew chapter 6, Matthew chapter 6, verse 24, say, No one can serve two masters. We only serve one master, Jesus Christ. I'm going to share the tips how to become true followers. Followers of Jesus Christ. Number one, deny self. What's the meaning of deny self? Deny self is God is a priority, not you. You step back. and put everything on God. The other word is to have self-control over your desires and seek to do God's will rather than your own. That's deny self. The second, pick up your cross. No more human ambition in this moment. No more selfish, but selfless. Number three, follow Christ. How we could do that, follow Christ, obeying God's word. Be obedient to God's word we follow what he wants us to do daily committing our lives we will commit our lives we want to do something just for God just for God and we want to show love to the others we show I love you we show I love you and serving in his ministry. We could do it. We also read in here. God not pick up the CEO to be his leading, but pick up you, pick up me in this point. But don't worry, God wants us everything we do in this life. Even the hand is numbering. He knows you fall in the morning, the hair fall in the morning from the head. God knows. Many people want to have um, things in their life. Want to have a big house? Want to have a big mansion? Want to have a... Um, want to be rich? But God said, Seek mercy His kingdom and righteousness and all those things will be given to you as well. By loving God, put God as number one. He can turn bad things to good things. He can give anything you want in life. Remember Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you. Amen. Let's pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for your words. Thank you for the endless and this word. So you make your sign our good. Give our guidance so we can live as we can.
person we love you the most. And we can walk in this road to go to eternal life with you. This morning we praise you, Lord. Special for this church, KICC Bethany. You may know or stay with them. All categories, ministry, KKICC, or CT, Sunday school, women group, men's group, social care, and also council members. Please, Lord, give them guidance and keep them safe, especially in this situation, this pandemic. Thank you, Lord. We pray also special to Pastor John Harvey in Australia. And a very rare to you may Lord heal him. We ask you Lord for the healing. We know Lord. We know you can heal anything because we know your daughter over the daughter in this world. Nothing is impossible with you. So we ask you Lord again and again. Pastor John Harvey, you may heal him. Thank you, Lord. Another year in the marriage of Paedro and Ibu Lucy on 28th of October. You may Lord stay with them in this new year on their year anniversary. Give the Lord happiness and most the more important thing, Lord. Guide them always in the your way of life. And also some friends who are unwell in this moment. Error. And Josie, such as mother and Peter Eris was. You may also Lord heal them. Give them strength and also guidance to life. Nothing is impossible with you, God. So we declare in your name all of them heal. Thank you, Lord, for everything. We pray special for people the church is attend this morning here in KICC. Bless all of us.
go home and be good. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make shine for you. And be gracious to you.